الأسواق الصاعدة هل هي بالفعل ما زالت صاعدة؟ فهي أو بفتح أو 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 لا شو ما هاي أسكت حضرك عم تضحك عليه حاول أحد الموجودين الاقتراب من الرصيف البحري لالتقاط صورة إلا أنه تعثر بشكل مفاجئ وسقط عن الرصيف البحري مباشرة في الماء وصورة أبلغ من التعليق Petronia Puswan has been there all day. So Petronia is uh, party in full swing yet? It is definitely in full swing. It's close to 9 o'clock and thousands of people are out here. You can see tons of people hanging me here. This is the big party going on. So it feels a lot like it's New Year's Eve out here. And yeah, it looks like it's like New Year's Eve out here in downtown Summerlin. A lot of people are here celebrating. Governor Brian Sandoval was even up here just a few minutes ago. And this is a lot of happy people to see downtown Summerlin opening up here in this part of the valley. The people have been waiting for this to happen. A great thing to happen after Summerlin. Come in for a few minutes. We'll be back live here and also give you your full forecast and show you what to expect for the rest of the week in your exclusive, uh, exclusive seven-day forecast in just a couple of minutes. Live in downtown Summerlin, Tech Morendo, 8 News Well, I don't mean to interrupt, yeah. but as, can I try one of these? Courtney, I would love to see my meat in your mouth. So I've got a burger ready to go Not for you. Not the first time I've heard that. I no. mean, oh. there is a Westport Flea Market burger. Look at this with bad fries. boy. Okay, I'm going to do it. Let's go. Know. Gone in a split second, barely off the launch pad. And if Allison Brent is going to pull this out, especially with National Democrats pulling money out of their ass, it's going to be because she has support from people like Hillary Clinton. It's a tough story for me to read. I just want you to know that. The one, the one about the vagina? <laughs> what do you want to call it? <laughs> I don't want to call the, it at all. The coochie okay? coo, is that better? Just say what it is. It's just biology. It just seems <laughs> odd that that's coming out like a regular news story. It seems like... I just did a story about the wig and penis. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, you you attention. Put your stories together to get some things going on. <laughs> You're watching Chicago's very own WGN News with Larry Potash, Robin Baumgarten, Paul Conrad with weather, Aaron McElroy with traffic. Army and all and the uh, Okay, it's going to be the golden child. Great. Uh, once again, we do apologize for that. We are going to get back to Tara's report. We will get the right report in there for you. There we go. Well, that pretty much that pretty much says it all. We're, <laughs> we're ready to go tonight. All right, all right. Probably the biggest leader on this team right now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That was a good one. That was a good one. But uh, <laughs> that knocked me out of my shoes. Thank you, Lise. No, no, go. And Colt. Go. And Jay Gruden. Quite a night here in Texas as the Dallas Cowboys and the Washington Redskins. No, Lise, no. That's pretty simple. You know how I do it, Tina. All right, all right. All right. I'm doing it. Oh, hey. And with that, he also said he just goes off the feel of the game, just like he does with interviews, I guess. And the pubs still spilling over onto the streets. They are absolutely in full voice. I'm sure you can hear it. You can see the red and green behind us. This pub, I've only seen a couple of people leave here in the last hour, and that's because they were going to get bunnies tattoos on their arms, premiership tattoos. So, look, as you can see, pretty happy. All about the bunnies down here. Public holiday in Sydney. I think this party, though, it'll be a week off work for everyone. <laughs> Can I make the team? <laughs> Mike, here, have a no? look. Yeah. Hit, hit, hit the read this. Hit the you need a read. 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 Sunshine continues today. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm laughing at the bee conference. Oh my god, just back. <laughs> That's
practically gone. It's going to feel like fall. Do you have yeah. your outfit picked out? Um, I haven't really worked on one yet, yeah. although I think I know what I'm going to do yeah. as of the beginning of this show. But I still have to put it together. Okay. I think I'm going to be Big Bird. Try to irritate Mitt Romney. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas, go with him. Lucas is going to escort just me to speak do Speak directly into my tie. All right, this so I'm going to talk into his tie. I wish we could see this right now because this is great. All right, here we go. Let's start out with. <laughs> we are really close right now. Come under the weather wall. Come over here. All right, so this is what we did on our walk. I'm talking into no, his tie. I got the microphone right there. So early morning. Did you see the lightning out there? Did I you did. See that? I did. Had a little bit of lightning, a little bit of thunder out there. We're going to take that off real quickly. Right now, looking outside. There's a live view from our <laughs> rose state camera. Am I still in the shot? Am I still in the shot? Here, I think you're good. As long as you stay there, I think you're good. So let's talk about the weather here. Clear skies right now. We're going to have some clouds later. Going to have some showers and thunderstorms. <laughs> Step out the way. 75 degrees, our current temperature right now. Partly cloudy skies. Dew point is 66. Now I want you to shift over here for now. There you go. Mike this way. Storms headed out to the east. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, that wasn't funny! Oh my gosh! Oh, oh, no. oh god, turn it off. Oh, I hate spiders. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Wow, okay, you guys can turn it off anytime now. <laughs> oh man. Whew. Goodness gracious, you guys got me on that one. <laughs> uh, poor Deanna, I was I was concentrating on the uh, the nice huge snakes over there and I got it. Thanks guys, that was a good one. All right, <laughs> let's talk about the weather this morning. Uh, we're seeing a little bit of some uh, rain showers this morning over most of Michigan, although not seen too much in the way of rain right now in Grand Rapids as we do have mostly cloudy skies. Oh my gosh, I can't, I can't even handle that. Oh, oh man, I'm not going on the green screen anymore. <laughs> Here's a look at the live Fox 17 radar scene. <laughs> Right now, Ruth uh, Sterling, who is the festival coordinator, is on site here uh, and is being, uh, uh, well, she's not letting me do my job and to report to you. She would not like me to tell you what is going on at Keene State College. Now I'm being called a free stater. This is a family-friendly event. The footprint of Keene Pumpkin Festival is 100% safe. We have a bigger crowd than we've ever had. I want them to have a wonderful evening and not be disturbed by people who aren't even at the Pumpkin Festival. So if you think that inciting these people is a good idea, I am going to pull the plug on you because you are here as a guest of Keen Pumpkin Festival and I assigned you this spot. You heard it here first, Do everybody. Not when you alarm our guests. Thank you. When you report the news, when you report the reality, the people in charge want to shut you down. This is against freedom of the press, folks. We have been bringing you coverage all day. Yes, Ruth is correct that this festival is very important for Keene. We have been reporting that all day long. Then pull the plug. But pull the plug. Agency, and you have no right to self-promote here, darling. I'm not self-promoting anything. Yes, you are. Do we agree he's self-promoting? I agree. Yeah. Everybody, Ruth Sterling, the festival organizer of the Keene Pumpkin Festival censoring local media from the truth of what is happening outside the footprint. More on this to come in uh, just a minute.